Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Al. Tuesday, the 14th of April, 1996. Interviewing Mr. Alex Hayes, who is doing a work of uh, paintings based on the book Inner Mind Fish. The Inner Mind Fish. Can you tell us a bit about uh, how you feel about doing this project, Alex? Yeah, um, for which Daniel and I started, we met up in Perth. Uh, met in Perth at a, at a friend's house and got talking and found that our um, personalities were pretty closely linked. And um, you know, just enjoyed doing the same sort of stuff. And uh, before long we started talking about art and music and so on. We launched off on... Daniel was writing a book of some sort, and he told me about it, and, uh, and he gave me the manuscript one day, which he'd had hiding under his bed for a long while, and um, I was really surprised to find it was really visual. It was good, good sort of, good scenario to start painting, something vivid, something unusual, you know, something to get your mind thinking, you know, and get you up and racing. And, um, yeah, before long we started talking, and, and uh, we had a, a whole scenario set up, we said, right, okay, we'll approach it as in uh, it's a, an illustrated uh, book of some sort. We went through a lot of fairly intense um, time, I'd say, um, actually sussing out what we were going to do. The fish actually envelops this way, and this part, um, this is his eye here, and his nose is in here, in this section here, and his lips, there's his lips, and his nose, and his eye there and there's the top of his head running around here. This is the nape of his neck and this is the rail of the boat. He's inside a vessel. And basically he has become the prow of the vessel. Before long we found that we had um, we'd started off on a lot of work and here I am in this little pissy little studio which is actually a double garage and it's nothing like I'd like to be working in but it's it's an environment to work in. Remember I was talking about um, that painting that I had showed you it was on a piece of paper on the front of the paper and it was a, um, a painting of a woman with her half of her body was disconnected like she was joined in half it was floating on a planet and there was fish and coming for that one no sorry <laughs> and before long we had um, it sussed out we were going to do a series of paintings 40 paintings to see 40 stories but we ended up probably going to do a lot more and um they said it's got a boat deck it's like a boat you know the deck of a boat <laughs> and um the, the deck of the boat there was a snake like a snake dangling from the ceiling from the boat coming down and um and there's a woman but they're, they're sort of standing on the deck the deck's flat but it's not like it's sort of like that sort of thing so he's standing there and um and, the, and it's there's one half and there's a snake coming down it's just like this really bizarre slope down image where he goes that way that way at the bottom and then you're over here on the deck looking at the snake coming down the person and the guy really intense this stage we poured about probably I'd say I've poured in a fair bit of time and effort and we put in money and so forth about two grand I'd say has passed by and uh, we're having fun yeah, we're really getting into it and, and um, drawing painting and um, just sussing out each story. And I'm taking it for a fine art sort of motion and, and enjoying the painting angle of it and really enjoying uh, getting some paint onto the canvas and doing painting, which um, at this stage I've done a fair bit off, but I'm still early. This is still an early um, step. And we started painting, you know, in a, in a mind fish, and uh, this is Mellow Yellow Fellow. Floating above a you know, quite serene scene, homely, but he's on a, a mouse trap, pedalling for his life. Bit of a, uh, a bit of a, uh, a take off of um, the condition of people, and they think they're in a, a um, quite a comfortable position in life. And the next second, they're cast off in a quite seemingly hopeless. But it's quite funny. I enjoy that that a paradox between comfort and and the displeasure. And art can be a displeasure at times because it's quite a, a difficult um, occupation to be had. And uh, but it parallels that of writers, parallels that of songwriters, and so on, and nothing different.